Hello, my name is Keith Sheely with iPhone Tips and Tricks, and today I'm going to talk to you specifically about the news. Have you found yourself at the end of your day and you want to see what has been going on? And so you get on your favorite social media and you find that an hour or two has gone by and you are no more informed now than you were when you first started. Perhaps you got on a search engine, typed in a subject matter, and the next thing you know, it's an hour or two later, once again, because of all the ads and the rabbit trails that are presented, you have found that you are no more informed than you were when you first began. Well, this app from Apple allows you to customize it so what's important to you comes to you. So customize the channels and customize the subjects that are important to you is what this app provides. Now, some people don't like it because it has a News Plus. News Plus, what that basically means is it's a subscription. So you might click on some articles and you'll find that you have to pay if you want to uh, read further in depth on that. Now, the great thing is that you can choose to follow and with the choosing to follow, you can select the channels that are of interest to you and the topics that are of interest to you as well. So for example, uh, let's say I go to Fox News here, which is part of one of the channels that are, have been entered. If you decide that you don't want that channel anymore, you can just simply go to these three dots, click unfollow channel. And if you don't want any content from that news provider you can totally block the channel so any news that uh, is searched for it will keep that off of your feed it's a great feature now perhaps you want to begin adding different channels and have articles sent to you through your news app let's say you have an interest of birds you are a birder just put in that in the subject, do a search. It'll automatically bring up the channels that are out there and the topics regarding that. All you've got to do is add it and it'll become a part of your channel or a part of your topic. Now, the layout, I generally like it. You've got uh, more for you, trending stories. You've got your major headings as you go down. And as you go, if you find that there's something that is not of interest, for example, the trending stories, once again, you can just block all trending stories. Because if you've got this fine-tuned the way that you like it, and you don't want to see what the general populace is interested in, you can choose to block that. Now, something to note, go to your settings. In the settings, scroll on down, to the news. Click on that. There's two things I want to point out here. One is background app refresh and the other one is restrict stories in today. Now when it comes to background app refresh, I generally leave this off for most of my apps, but for this I actually do want it to be updating in the background. And the reason for that is I like to stay informed of the latest news. I don't have this turned on for all of my apps because if you do, it's going to drain your battery significantly. But in this case, I have the Apple Watch as well. And so when the news feed comes on my phone, it automatically goes to my Apple Watch. Now something to note, when you set this up, you've got to set the settings up for your iPad. You've got to set up the settings for your Mac as well. Uh, because it doesn't make the change across the board. Restrict stories in today. I've left this open because, for example, in the trending stories, it will show me the trending stories that are outside of the channels that I have selected and the topics that are of interest to me. But if you have fine-tuned your news app the way you like it and you really want to keep it just to the things that are of interest to you, go ahead, turn that on, and when you turn that on, it will restrict it from that point on. Only the channels and only the topics that are of interest to you will be there. Now, if you 
do not want to do the background app refresh, you don't have to. You just simply open up the app, slide down on the screen, and it'll update it at that moment, giving you the newest articles based off your criteria. So that is it. I'm Keith Sheely with iPhone Tips and Tricks. I hope you have liked what I have shared today. If you want to see more of this in the future, please like, subscribe, and share. Have a great day.